going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Niners News here on 49ers Hive. My name is Zach Hernandez, and as always, I am joined by my co-host, Matt Llewellyn. And today we're going to be discussing Kyle Shanahan refusing to name a starter of the regular season at the quarter acquisition after the 49ers uh, preseason week two win over the Los Angeles Chargers. Matt, are we reading into this a little too much? But Kyle Shanahan basically chuckled and said, no, I'm not naming a starter yet. And when asked when he would, he said, when I feel like it. So yeah, I think a, I th- no, I think a lot of people read a lot into that. Basically, there there was a preface to that question um, where Kyle said, hey, look, not a lot has changed. You know, Jimmy was our starter going in. Not a lot has changed there. And then the question was asked if he wanted to name a starter. He said, no, I'm not doing that. And uh, he said, nice try. The guy followed it up. And essentially, you know, Kyle got a little snarky. And he's like, look, by the time that Sunday rolls around, you guys will know. That's what every coach in the NFL does um, to try to deflect but I saw so many people take that and ran with it as like, oh, my God, Trey's taking the job. It's going to be Trey. Watch out. Here comes Trey. All this stuff. And it's just like, come on, guys. Like, you have to. If you read it in quotes, it seems like that could be the case. But when you watch the actual video, it's very clear that he's just, like, blowing off that question. And it's just like, whatever, dude. Why are you asking me this crap? It was like the same thing when Grant asked him why they weren't running read options for Trey. And he's like, cause that's not what we wanted to do. You know, he's, he's being Kyle Shanahan. And I think that a lot of people who have their ax to grind because we all fall in those, like, you know, a lot of us fall into the pro Jimmy or pro Lance camps or whatever. And there seems to be not a lot of in between. So you have your David Lombardi's of the world who love Jimmy Garoppolo. You have your Grant Cones of the world who love Trey Lance we've seen it amongst the fan base and it's really it's it's become a little bit of a a mess in terms of trying to communicate and trying to have discussions and debates and really evaluate both guys because everybody wants to see what they want to see and everybody will read into what they want to read into when the truth of the matter is Kyle doesn't have to disclose any of this is if the team knows if if the players know if he knows that's all that he's beholden to he who cares about what the media says he's not behooved to the fans to tell them who the starter is going to be week one when they line up against detroit we'll know um i will say this though once we watch the third preseason game against the raiders the playing time i think is going to say a lot um i think that this is still a possibility that trey lance starts week one I still have Jimmy Garoppolo a little bit ahead in the clubhouse, but it's by no means did anybody separate themselves. By no means is there a clear cut. This is what they absolutely should do because there's arguments to be made for both sides. Jimmy's the steady hand has taken him to a Super Bowl. Trey Lance is the exciting guy with all the potential upside in the world. Now I personally fall into start Trey Lance earlier than later because you're just wasting time with him. If you're not, um, but there are people who are like, you'll ruin him. And I don't necessarily agree with that, but you understand how they could feel that way. So I don't think either answer is particularly 100% right. I think it's a tough choice to be made, but people are reading way too much into what Kyle said last night. <laughs> I think that's fair. Um, what I kind of got the most intrigued was at the fact that it's a, it's, and you could say it was how the question was, was posed to him, but it's a bit of a change of narrative or change of tune. I should say, to where he's always definitively answered Jimmy's our starter and it's going to be very hard for Trey Lance or anybody to, to, you know, unseat him as the starter. And as of last night, he could have easily have said, Oh, it's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. You know, of course it's Jimmy, but maybe there's no benefit of revealing that other than patting your quarterback on the back. Well, and that's why I added that extra context because he did say nothing, nothing much has changed in terms of Jimmy as our starter. And the guy's like, do you want to name one for week one? And you just said, no, it's essentially like, dude, I already answered your question. Now you're just pushing. So I think that, uh, you know, he did answer it um, as, as definitively as he possibly could. No, but I think that's by design. Um, I think secretly he likes all of the, the talk. You know, if everybody's talking about you, that means the eyes are on you. And that's a good thing. So, no, I, I just feel like I don't think much has changed in his eyes either. Um, but although we three's playing time will kind of dictate what we see out of that. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, the quote was certainly ran with for the last 24 hours as we we're recording this. Um, and a lot of people were saying, oh, 
that plus John Lynch coming on beforehand and saying that Jimmy's going to come in and then come out. Trey's going to come in and then come out and Jimmy's going to go back in. Well, Jimmy never went back in. So clearly that means that they want to see more of the starter being Trey Lance. Where in reality, Jimmy had like a 16 play drive to start the game. And they probably were just satisfied with his snap count for the night. I mean, that's more likely. was the plan going in and i think that that was such a long extended drive that it was like okay those were his reps that's what he got them all in one in one go and keep in mind this is after a pretty extended chargers first drive too so i don't think the offense got in the field for the first five minutes of the game six minutes of the game by the time jimmy was done with that 16 play drive you're looking at most of the first quarters chewed up so it's like well we got to see trey um we need to see him probably in the second quarter and going into uh, you know, the second half, and then we got to see Nate Sudfeld and see what he's got going on or whatever, because the decision is still, do they carry two or do they carry three? And so you look at it, and it's just one of those things where you can look at it either way. Um, people are going to, again, read into stuff that they want to read into. So, okay, Jimmy was supposed to come back in. He didn't come back in. It very well could be you look at it the other way, too. Trey Lance stayed in so long because Trey Lance struggled to begin and they needed him to find his rhythm and have, a, you know, they spoon fed him third and four stringers. You can see it going either way and the narratives are forming and the dividing line is there and everybody's on either side. I, I would preach patience for everybody because we don't know what's going to definitively happen for week one, but I mean, we, we still got to get there. We still got to get there and the team has a plan. Yeah, most definitely. And look, Trey Lance is going to become the start of the 49ers. It's just a matter of when, honestly. What's yeah. the point of rushing into it? Potentially, I don't want to say ruining him, but damaging him, damaging his confidence, damaging his psyche, because you throw him in there before he's ready. Um, Jimmy, Jed York has already said, if we pay Jimmy 27, whatever million he's due this year, that's fine. Even if he doesn't play a snap, that's fine. Um We're more than comfortable paying him. They have a perfect, you know, plan A, plan B situation type going on right now. And I think the unspoken, you know, secret is that, yeah, it's Trey Lance's job when he's ready. And Kyle Shanahan's basically said that. Um, So I I don't think there's this need to kind of get out there and say, well, you might as well put Trey Lance in right now because – he, he, he's going to be ready eventually. It's like, I'd rather mm-hmm. you wait. Don't get me wrong. I want to see Trey Lance. And I think he's, it's like 60, 40, Jimmy's right, right. Above Trey Lance at, from right now. But if Kyle feels that Trey is just nowhere near that where Jimmy is, then wait. And we're all going to have to deal with that. And I think that you, you, I think you hit the nail on the head, Matt, and that Kyle kind of gets a kick out of it. And it almost reminds me of back when they had that kind of infamous press conference where he talked about, you know, everybody thought I was going to draft Mac Jones, and I don't really know where that came from, but we took and ran with it. Why would we correct that? It's mm-hmm. kind of like that. You know, why would they give anybody, whether it's the media, fans, opposing teams, if you come out and said, yeah, Jimmy's going to be our starter, then immediately the Detroit Lions are like, okay, we don't have to watch basically any Trey Lance aside from the, you know, five, ten snaps he might take. We're only going to scheme for Jimmy. So I just think there's not as much of an upside, but there's a lot of a downside to coming out after your second preseason game and saying, yep, it's Jimmy. Right. No, I, I, I 100% agree with you. Um, I think I think you bring up an interesting point in that it's it's a fine line between if you rush him out there too early, you could potentially ruin him. That's one narrative. But then on the other hand, it's like he's been a full year out of football. He's played two games in 500 plus days. And if you don't play him a lot, then is he going to improve from year one to year two? Is he going to, you know, atrophy those skills further because he's not getting enough playing time? And really, once the season gets going, if Jimmy Garoppolo is the starter, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to get the bulk of practice reps, and that's going to leave Trey Lance out in a lurch. He can run scout team or he can do those other things, but at the same time, there's not going to be a lot of, uh, you know, room for him to really work with the team develop a chemistry with the players and really dive into the playbook in the way that he needs to, to improve. So there are both of those narratives and it's just a matter of the team figuring out, Hey, what's the line. And it sounds to me like 
the tentative plan, if if you're reading between the lines and what they're doing, is that you know it's gonna both are gonna play. They're gonna be packages for Lance, and like you said, it'll be a matter of time. But Trey Lance will take that job eventually. Yeah, he definitely will, and it it, it might be this season. It might be next season, but. Look, guys, if it's not until next season, that means things went well for the 49ers. That means Jimmy played well. It's not a bad thing to – I mean, as a 49ers fan, obviously Trey Lance fans and eh, Trey Lance would want to get out there ASAP, but if he doesn't see significant – I should say starter reps until 2022 as a whole, that's probably a good thing for the 49ers. Um, but – we're going to end it there, guys, because we can talk about this probably all day and speculate all these crazy scenarios that would play out. We're just going to have to wait and see, unfortunately. That's how this yep. works. Um, so while you're here, hit that subscribe button. Uh, drop a comment below. What do you think about Kyle Shanahan's comments and not naming a starter? Do you think there's something there? Do you think people are reading into it a little too much? Drop your comments down below. Go ahead and click the bell for notifications. Hit the like button. The algorithm likes it when you do that. Go follow us up on all of our social media accounts. Uh, we're bringing you content each and every day of the week, especially as we gather steam towards the season. So come join us. We love having you. And until next time, go Niners.